just got my roof rack in the mail. So we've got it all laid out here. There's the two racks, which have indications on which way they need to go. One is smaller than the other. You've got a bag of tools and supports and another bag of tools and the tape to apply to the car to protect the paint. First step is to clean the area where you're going to put the racks and the supports. One spot for the support is right here at the junction of the window, the windshield and the window, the panoramic roof. The second is between the panoramic roof and the rear window. And the next step is to apply these protective films. This one goes on the front driver's side and the rear, front passenger and rear. So I found the easiest way to apply these stickers is to undo one corner and then simply unfold the rest and then press as you're taking off the film backing. So to insert each of the supports, you first have to place the pry tool such that it's pulling the stripping inwards. So you have to fiddle with this so it is right in there. Then you just push it that way. And as you do, you slide this over right there as such. And then you, well, it's hard to do with one hand, but then you just remove your pry tool and leave this in place. So now with all four anchors in place, it's time to place the plastic feet in the positions that are indicated. As you can see, this one is on the rear of the driver's side. The others follow suit. As you notice, one support is larger than the other. The larger one goes in the front, the smaller one goes in the back. So we have the rear one in place. You have to position it onto the screws. Make sure that it's in the right direction. That should be the front of the vehicle. And then you can take the stickers off and then we'll do the same thing for the front. So it's quite simple. You just have to lower it and make sure it lines up with the screw and that hole. So the next step is you take these nuts and you screw them on and hand tighten. You do this four times and then you hand tighten with the wrench. Careful not to over tighten. Aligned, there's a small thing there to align. You'll want to just lock each one into position and then put on the cover. So here are the supports. We have a Yakima bike support and the Ion branded board support. The board support is super easy, so I'll do that first. So here we go. Here's the straps. There's a Velcro underneath. You just fix that one underneath. Time to put on the one for the bike. This one's pretty simple also. You just have to mount the front one here. The rear one, you position it in the right place and then you just fix the bottom portion of it. So to start off the process, the locking me mechanism needs to be removed so that this lock here is disengaged from the front here. Then you can tighten this to secure the bracket onto the front rack then after you slide this closed securing this in place final few twist to lock this in place that's about it now this needs to be parallel to the axis of 
your support. Make sure this goes in nice and slug. Once it's uh, snug, sorry. Once it's in place, you can pass the locking mechanism through. The way to lock this is you turn while extending the two parts. So you distract the two portions, continue to turn until it's fully seated. Engaging the rear is much easier. I had it on the second position and it's simply a matter of passing this through the support bracket, turning it 90 degrees and tightening. There you can see the screw. So if it's perpendicular to the axis of the support, then it's engaged and then all you need to do is tighten. So once the bike is on the roof with the strap over the tire in the back, and the front fork in the proper position well seated you can then lock the front there we go the lock has turned 90 degrees and is now secured the fork in the front is secured remove the key your bike is pretty much solid so passing the straps is obviously easier without the board in place. So before you put the board on, just put the straps on to the roof, pass the strap underneath either rack, and then you can put the board on top and pass the straps over. Just pass the ones in the back and I'm going to take the lock mechanism, throw it over there. Same thing for the front, here it is, throw it over there, now I can just strap it in place. So the correct way to tighten or to apply these board straps is you fish it from underneath through that little metal pin, behind the metal pin, up, over, around, under, and then it comes out, you can see how it's coming out through the locking mechanism that way if there is pressure it'll pull it backwards further tightening the hold that the lock has on the strap with the straps properly passed through i usually put a little bit of a twist here so when you're going at highway speeds you don't have the fluttering which can damage your board even though this board's pretty beaten up anyway over here you can just um, either put it in through the window or you curl it up and uh, put it underneath the velcros whichever you prefer and now i'm ready for summer this is how to attach a board and a bike onto your tesla model 3. ready to go camping having fun or anything else with my Tesla.